Good morning, fifth graders. So we're starting 14.3. And uh, we'll go through 14.3 today. And uh, then tomorrow on Zoom, uh, we'll see if anybody has any questions. So, um, what page is this? Page 574. It says both uh, Ann and Bill earn the same amount each week. Ann starts with no money, but Bill starts with $5. How much will Bill have when Ann has 30? And it says represent the situation using a table and a graph. So here's the table, okay? And here's the start, and these are the weeks right here. So one, two, three, four, five. So at the start, Ann had zero, Bill had five. At week one, Ann had three, and Bill had eight. Week two, Ann had six, and Bill had 11. You can see how this works. And then they graph it right here. And that's a pretty small graph. Um, let me see here. I think I can change that. I can cut this out, make it a little bit bigger. So we can look and see what they're trying to show us here. Yeah, that helps. Okay. So, um,. It says plot the ordered pairs from the table, draw a line to show the pattern, this is what I'm reading right here, extend the line to a point where the x-coordinate, okay, and you should know by now this is your x-coordinate down here, <clears throat> um, or that's the x-axis I should say, uh, is at 30, and the corresponding y-coordinate is at 35, and so here's the y-axis right there. So here's here's the x at 30 and here's y at 35. Okay. Now here's what I want you guys to notice that'll come into play in the answer or the question they ask here in a moment. When Ann has let's say $10, uh, how much does Bill have? Actually, let me change this to green here. When Ann has 10, Bill has what? So go straight up with the 10. Bill has, where do they meet? Right there. Bill has 15. When Ann has 20, what does Bill have? You'll notice it goes straight over here. 25. When Ann has 25, what does Bill Bill have Bill has 30 okay should see the correspondence there and then of course the last one they uh, talk about is is 30 and 35 so down below here at the please convince me what's the question they ask it says what's the relationship between Bill's earnings and Ann's earnings well there's lots of ways you could phrase this but Bill always has um, five dollars more than and what does that tell you well it tells you they earn the same doesn't it because it never changes okay um, let's see here let's move this up guided practice um, in the example on page 574, find another point of the line, and what does that point represent? Um, well, actually, we already did that several times, and we could say, um, and has... What was one of the examples I said? Ann has $20. And Bill has, remember what it was? $25. Okay. Let's see here. In the example on page 574, write an equation to show the relationship between Ann's earnings and Bill's earnings. Remember to let X 
equal Ann's earnings and Y equals Bill's earnings. Okay, so um, so here's what you would write um, or could write. How about Y? Okay, and Y represents Bill's earnings. Okay, Y equals. Um, let's see here. How about X? Okay, X is Ann's earnings. X um, plus what? Five. So if you think about that equation for a moment, Y is representing Ann's earnings and X is Bill's earnings. And Ann's earnings is the same as Bill's plus five. And um, and we could go back to the to the graph, and you could see that whatever Ann had, Bill had five dollars more. Okay. Let's see here. It says, write the missing coordinates and tell what the point represents. And this is number three. Um, so again, this is pretty small. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, I don't think I need this graph right here, so I can just cut this out and put it on top. Maybe you guys can see it okay. It's... I think maybe on a YouTube video it might be harder to see. Okay. Whoops. Blew that. Let me do that again. Okay. There we go. So this is the uh, this is the point they're talking about. The missing the missing coordinates. It's this one right here X and Y well you can see what what X is and you can see what Y is um, 200 so um, the missing coordinates would be 5 comma 200 and it says uh, tell what the point represents um, 5 seconds and 200 meters okay uh, let's see here you could do the same thing with four and five I don't think I'm gonna bother bother with that you should be able to do that and then for number six, it says, for exercise five, find two other points on the line, then graph and label them, describe the relationship between deer sightings and elk sightings. And so they're, uh, they're obviously talking about this one right there. So in, this, in number four, though, I found uh, a, a couple cool pictures of aluminum and titanium. And so here you can see aluminum. <laughs> And here is titanium, and those are those are kind of interesting. Uh, so, uh, titanium, did you know, is often used in medical equipment because it's not toxic and it's also extremely lightweight and strong. And uh, I mean, they use it for pacemakers and cranial plates. You know what a cranial plate is? That's the that's the the your skull basically because it's it's made of plates it's not just a solid piece of bone and uh, dental implants those kinds of things and also titanium is really uh, resistant to corrosion um, so anyways I just thought I'd show you guys those pictures so let's uh, move down here next page 
uh, seven, graph the points on it in the table and um, on the grid at the right, and then draw the lines through the points. Mine didn't come through very well, so I actually um, ended up uh, writing those in. Um, it says, look for relationships. If the pattern continues, how many pages will have been read after six hours? Yeah, I think you guys can, can do that. Um, let's see here. Number nine, higher order thinking. Suppose you have a graph of a speed graph suppose you have a graph of speed that shows a lion can run four times as fast as a squirrel well, i think it run. well maybe not i don't know squirrels could be pretty fast name an ordered pair that shows this relationship what does this ordered pair represent so um here's the key here's the key four times as fast so um let me help you with this and i'll let you guys finish this let um x equal the lion and y can equal the squirrel okay so um Think of an ordered pair where one would be four times that of the other. Okay, just and all you, that's all you have to do is come up with an ordered pair, and we'll see we'll see uh, how you guys did with that tomorrow. Number ten, Candace drives a total of forty-eight miles each day to get to work and back home. She works five days a week, and her car gets twenty-one miles per gallon of gas. About how many gallons of gas does she need? to drive to work and back home each week. Well, first off, um, five days a week, 48 miles each day. Well, we'll multiply those together. And if her car gets 21 miles per gallon of gas, which is not very good nowadays, mine gets about 32, 34, about how many gallons of gas does she need to drive to work and back home each week? So you're going to do the first two, multiply those together, and then divide that by 21, and you should have your answer. And I'm about ready for some more coffee. Um, 11, you can answer. 12, you can answer. And I think, is that it for this? Are we done? Woohoo! We're done. Okay. Um, so you guys can do this today. And we'll uh, get on Zoom tomorrow and check it out. You guys have a, have a good day. Talk to you later.